NBA players make some horrible plays. Forgetting how to dribble? Airballing layups? Completely losing their team a championship? But those still aren't the top 20 worst plays in NBA history. And first up, the time James Harden could have created the best play of his career, and it turned into his worst. Handed jump hook from a point guard. Harden. <laughs> Bruh, are you gonna send dude flying? Taunt him? Then damn near airball. With the look on Coach's face, I'm just surprised Harden didn't end up like LaMelo Ball. Cause his worst play got him kicked out of the game. LaMelo way ahead of the pack. What do you got? Oh, LaMelo. LaMelo really thought he was in the dunk contest, and the hoop said, Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Melo, get your ass off the court, bro. But if Duke got benched for that play, I just wonder what happened to the player who made three mistakes in one play. DeMarcus Cousins. N no, not that DeMarcus. This DeMarcus. Bad pass from Cousins as Davis turned his back. Here's Cantor. Straight and it finishes. Duke got dunked on. Three bad plays within seconds? But at least that only cost his team a few points. One player's worst play ruined a life. Coming into a matchup between two of the NBA's worst teams, it was obvious that someone was going to do something horrible. But nobody could have guessed how bad things would end up for Christian Wood. Because with time winding down, he grabbed the rebound and made an expensive bad play. Seven, seven, oh my goodness. That went truly into the second row. His pass was so off, it ended up in the crowd and gave a fan a facial. Now, the crowd cheered, the commentators laughed, and so did the fan, Isabella. So nobody thought it was a big deal. Till after the game, when Christian made an Instagram post laughing and offered to buy the fan courtside tickets to any Rockets game of her choice. But all because he didn't apologize, Isabella not only turned down the tickets, she exposed shocking news. Isabella claimed she got hit so hard, she needed to be rushed to the emergency room. And apparently, that's where doctors diagnosed her with a concussion, a fractured cheekbone, and she was forced to miss work for three weeks, all cause of Christian's pass. Now whether she was capping or not, she thought exposing this would give her the last laugh. But Christian's teammate, Robert Covington, gave her some advice. He said, Girl, sit down. You lucky he offered you tickets. Damn. One bad play? Lost the Rockets one of their only fans. But after a mistake that lost his team the game, this next player might need to start an OnlyFans. All night long, the Bulls were getting absolutely blown out. Till the fourth quarter, they started showing some life and began sparking a comeback. So it wasn't long before they were down by only a few points. And with a minute left, down by five, yeah, they forced Jimmy Butler to miss, but Denzel Valentine grabbed the rebound and tried to be the hero. No. Oh my goodness, Valentine! No. Whoa, oh no. no! You know things are bad when your own commentators are clowning you. Oh. That is not the shot no. at that moment. That's a horrible shot. Denzel, you're not him, and neither is a player who scores for the wrong team. With three seconds left, Everybody thought the game was over, especially Kevin Porter Jr. I mean, his team was down 19 points, so he felt the right move was making things even worse. He off defensively, and the Rockets who- Wait a minute, Porter just put it in the Raptors' basket. Man decided to give the other team points and scored on the wrong hoop. Everybody was confused. Not even the refs knew what to do about it. But I mean, there was no chance the Rockets could come back anyways. And besides, it wasn't a shot so bad, it's something you only see in 2K. I'm not quite sure what that was. Now, okay, at least he hit the rim, but uh, could dude read the clock? There were eight seconds left. Nobody knew why he did that. Not even bench warmer Kawhi. But that play still wasn't as bad as a player who forgot he was even in an NBA game. Andre Drummond had one of the worst brain malfunctions on an NBA court ever. Live counter, live game. Let's see how long dude stands here. Rookie year has claimed a dozen tonight to go along with 15 points. I'm not sure what Drummond was trying to do there. Nine seconds before he even made a move. And he does that. 
but I think I know an even worse layup. It's a heads up play by Mack. Nick Young lost it as he had the slam. Man, how the hell is it possible to literally shoot a layup completely over the hoop? Washington Wizards are always acting stupid, man. Just look at Kyle Kuzma. Daniel Gafford who had that big game six days ago, and that's a travel. Uh, Kuzma? I wonder why the GM traded your ass. Are you gonna take seven steps without dribbling, then act confused when the refs call it a travel? And the commentators making the corniest jokes I ever heard. I'll tell you what, he looked like he was on black ice out there. Hey, we got anti-lock brakes on that system, man. But Kuzma's lucky he had time to make up for that play. Because now that we're getting into the top 10 worst plays ever, we're about to take things to a whole new level of bad. Like, I'm talking such horrible plays, the only thing better would have been seeing them live. Which reminds me of the sponsor of this video, SeatGeek. SeatGeek's an app that makes buying tickets easier and cheaper than anywhere else. And it ain't just for NBA games. They have every sport, concert, and event you can think of. I even use SeatGeek to get the best deal possible, because it lets you know with green dots that the tickets are a good deal, and red dots mean it's a bad deal. But I'm going to hook you up with an even better deal. If you download the app and use code FLIX, you get $20 off any tickets you choose. Just click the link in the description, and I guarantee you'll see players making horrible plays, like one of the worst buzzer beaters in NBA history, at our next play. So that will kill it. Ball winds up in the seventh row. What the? Dude must have thought he was Tom Brady. But at least he got a shot off. I mean, things could have been much worse. Like, he could have been LeBron James. With two minutes left, LeBron needed to make a clutch play to gain his team some momentum. And with the ball rolling up court, all he could think about was... For this season. And it absolutely nothing. He let the ball roll all the way down court just for it to go out of bounds? LeBron just lucky he ain't making horrible plays on a nightly basis. I'm sure we've all seen Russell Westbrook. He's known to do things like this. Spinning away from oh, shit. Or even this. Pulls up, wants to use the window and hit the top of the glass. But his worst play is something that even confused him. And that right there was the moment Westbrook forgot how to play basketball. And just look at KD, man. Of course he's the one who snitched. But Westbrook's travel is only one play. And speaking of traveling, let's take a trip to Cleveland for one of the biggest NBA events of the year, All-Star Weekend. So you'd think nothing could go wrong, but when you're in Ohio, anything is possible. Scotty Barnes came and wanted to make history. And with the entire league, celebrities, and millions of fans watching live, it was the perfect place for a young star to make a name for himself. But uh, I don't think Scotty wanted it to happen like this. Hey, Scotty Barnes. Uh -oh. Can't, oh, oh. No, Scotty, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Here come the memes. Don't do it again. Oh, oh don't make it for him. Come on, boy. Don't no do way. it. No way. Oh, no. No. <laughs> uh, this man realizes nobody was guarding him, right? Four missed layups in a row? Four? No wonder why NBA players were laughing at dude. But thankfully for Scotty, he's young, so his dumb play will be forgotten. Kemba Walker's worst play became more famous than his entire career. Walker, long three. Oh, trickled off. No way. Dude really hit the dance and everything. This miss became the most viral moment of Kemba's career and got him turned into memes. But at least his worst play didn't come because of a curse, like Tristan Thompson's. For years, it's been rumored that any NBA player who dates a Kardashian completely forgets how to play basketball. And well, Tristan's been dating Khloe Kardashian for a while now. And that's the only explanation I can understand for why he went from LeBron's side piece to absolute ass cheeks. Just look at this fool bring the ball up, man. I just hope he doesn't try to take a shot. Down in the backcourt. Bird dog by Simmons. Somebody's gotta go get the ball from Tristan here. Tristan's gonna fire him. Bro, dude must have thought he was Stephen Curry which sometimes ain't a good thing, because he had one of the most embarrassing plays in NBA history. And oh, look out, Curry slipped. And now shoots for three. Damn, Steph was caught slipping. That, combined with the air ball, was not inspirational. But now that we're getting into the top three worst plays ever, things are gonna get pretty bad. 
And before I show you this next clip, let me put things into perspective. Free throws are easy. I mean, they're literally free. It's the most practiced shot in the NBA. And even if you don't play basketball, it's damn near the first thing you're taught. So there's definitely no way a professional can mess up that bad, right? Well, Tony Parker must have been on one, cuz. Bro, did his controller disconnect? That right there is the worst free throw I've ever seen. But it was only one point. One player's worst play cost his team the win. 10 seconds left, tie game. Nets got the ball, next shot wins. But somehow, Brandon Knight pulls off a miracle and stole the ball. Shipped it! Knight, two seconds, one second. Oh, he missed it at the horn! A wide open layup, and he misses it. No wonder why Brandon was damn near crying. Nobody could believe it. I mean, his own coach was so confused, he was cheering him on. Because they still had another overtime to pull off a win, it wasn't the worst play in NBA history. That came during the NBA Finals. It was game one, and the Cavaliers came in being doubted by the entire world. They were going up against one of the greatest super teams ever assembled, the Warriors, and nobody thought they had a chance. Well, nobody except LeBron James. All night long, LeBron was going off. So this was quickly becoming one of the most legendary performances in NBA history. He single-handedly kept the Cavaliers close. But even though he had 49 points in a finals game, without a win, it would be all for nothing. And everything came down to one final possession. With the Cavaliers down one, LeBron passed to his teammate who was fouled and sent to the line for free throws. George Hill stepped up and uh, you could tell he was feeling the pressure, but somehow he knocked down the first free throw and tied the game. At this moment, all he has to do is make his next shot, and this not only would be the upset of the century, it would completely change the entire series, cement LeBron's legendary performance in the history books, and make the entire world feel like the Cavaliers could do the impossible to win another championship. No pressure. Wait a minute, why is J.R. Smith down there for the rebound? Oh no. Hill misses. Rebound goes to the Cavs. J.R. Smith brings it back out. Throws it to Hill. Hill shot blocked. And will go to overtime. In the biggest moment of the game, in the biggest moment of the year, in the biggest moment of these players' careers, J.R. forgets the score, what he's even doing, dribbles out the clock, and LeBron's face says it all, man. Everybody was pissed. They knew J.R. blew it. And well, the Cavaliers never recovered from this. Not only did they lose that game, every single game they looked helpless. They didn't win a single game the entire series and were swept, all cause JR ruined everything. Damn, now that was bad, but it wasn't weird. What NBA players buy is, one NBA player bought something to spread an addiction worldwide. Another player bought something that has him facing jail time. And I know you wanna hear more about that, so just click this video right here.